ओके हाय ऑल ऑफ यू हाँ ठीक है गुड इवनिंग यस गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल टुगेदर एम आई स्ट्रीमिंग फाइन ऑल ऑफ यू ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स ओके फाइन हाय शुभम इट बफरिंग फॉर यू इज बफरिंग फॉर अदर्स ऑल्सो और जस्ट शुभम हाई मैथिली हिमांशु इनाम जफर हेमंत हुई ओके गुड इवनिंग इज इट फाइन इट्स फाइन नाउ आईमान माइन ओके ठीक ओके लेट स्टार्ट ऑफ सो टूडे सेशन इज ऑन एंसर राइटिंग द होल पर्पज ऑफ दिस वर्कशॉप इज i am initiating the process of how to deal with the questions that you have and what can you do for it for the next couple of months whatever you have i am i am assuming most of you are preparing for 25 sorry 24 uh, while some of you are there for 25 also i know theek okay, hai so yes 24 is the assumption okay but uh, we'll see what you ultimately can do ओके राजू राजू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ठीक है फाइन नेहा नो प्रॉब्लम पीयूष हाय पीयूष पासवान गुड इवनिंग ओ गौरी सो ठीक है यू आर लिस्निंग टू मी ठीक है यू लर्न इन द प्रोसेस गौरी से शी इज प्रिपेरिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके ठीक है फाइन ठीक है फाइन ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ नाउ एंड आई विल वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू हैव maybe your notebooks open online offline also uh, just small sizes to get some things right na dekh hota kya hai answer writing is a very different level skill uh, there are stages you must pass through there is something like you know uh, you know this uh, the coaches that we have at the international cricket level or football whatever is something like somebody takes a child with him and goes and tells international coach uh, make him a world class football player okay to waise hi kuch hota hai mere sath bhi do i am not up there in terms of coaching okay do what i would want to be but students invariably come up and ask sir uh, help us write great answers now great answers the way you pitch demands there is a method to this there's a process a method and i'm hoping i can explain that to you first because because answer writing is important that is something all of us know the answer writing is the key to qualifying that also we know and that we must work on answer writing we understand that but wo work ka tarika kya hona chahiye what to work how to work what direction so many of you start off writing and uh, some of you mujhe aise dikha bhi rahe ho aap log uh, there is not much i am saying when you show me answer unless it's uh, a really out of place i say it's okay answer keep working you learn that's a, a way of keeping in the process but something else required on this theek hai so all of you uh, be patient with me i'll teach you some points one after another and take down whatever you can now first in the conversation is you will stop comparing marks possibility or discussing marks possibility with the conversations you have with people around you kehne ka matlab ye hai ki if you go and ask any regular student orn mein or around your uh, you know close friend circle ki aap log kya likh rahe ho kaise likh rahe ho कितने मार्क्स आ रहे हैं यू विल जनरली गेट अ वेरी डिप्रेसिव आंसर विच इज नॉट गुड मार्क्स एंड आई फ्रस्ट्रेटेड ढंग सिखाया नहीं जा रहा है एंड अ वेरी कन्वीनियंट आंसर इज मार्क्स नहीं आते आजकल कट ऑफ हैज कम डाउन अक्रॉस मेन्स भी घटा है फिल्म्स में घटा है तो जनरल कन्वर्सेशन इज मार्क्स नहीं आते बट ट्रस्ट मी मार्क्स आते हैं So if I divide your cohort of students into those who qualify and those who don't qualify, what happened is to, is to happen earlier was, say if there are ten aspirants, and these ten aspirants are 
जनरली दो आर वेरी वेरी श्योर अबाउट कि करना एग्जामिनेशन एंड टेन एस्पिरेंट्स वेर जनरली वेरी हाई परफॉर्मिंग एस्पिरेंट्स यू गो बैक एंड आस्क योर सेल्फ आज से दस साल पहले बारह साल पहले पंद्रह साल पहले हु आर द पीपल हु एस्पायरिंग नॉट ऑल ऑफ यू ओके वाई बिकॉज अवेयरनेस वॉज लेस कॉन्फिडेंस वॉज मे बी अ सस्पेक्ट एंड ए जनरल आइडिया दैट वी डोंट हैव द एबिलिटी so those who said they want to appear and qualify they were a very limited number of people okay so as you 10 of them say we want to try and generally what happened was this 10 were very good students so when they appear and when they work hard 10 may say maybe 6 will qualify or 4 qualify and those who don't qualify the mark gap was very less okay and uh, You ask around, how marks are there? But I made some mistakes. Last ten, fifteen years, and in particular, last five, six years, me, this number has exploded. What was ten students now, perhaps hundred students as the aspirants. And as a nahi hai, that all the hundred okay, are really sincere, as committed. All the hundred have the same compete. As a nahi hai, if out of ten students. If seven had competencies today, hundred may say competency. Shayad bara logon ka hi hai. So now I'm not saying that the remaining eighty-eight uh, who are aspiring are wrong. No, but that's a that's a check in reality. So if you go and ask you around, ki batao kaise preparation hai? Most likely you will meet people who don't have the competencies or who are not as sincere. सम ऑफ इन द क्लास आपने देखा है हाउ मच प्रेशर आई पुट इन द क्लास डू सिनॉप्सिस डू योर बुक्स कम टू क्लास रेगुलरली सम ऑफ यू पार्ट ऑफ मैराथन सेशन आप खुद देखो इन ए कोहोट ऑफ तीन सौ चार सौ पांच सौ बच्चों में से हाउ मेनी कम टू क्लास रेगुलरली एंड डू ऑल दिस एक्स्ट्रा वर्क एंड इफ इन ए ग्रुप वेर आई थिंक आई रियली ट्राई माई बेस्ट इफ आफ्टर ऑल द प्रेशर If out of of four hundred five hundred of you, actual guys who come for the test is forty, fifty, thirty, for twenty. Imagine what happens in ORN in general. What happens at the country scale in general? So my point of argument here is that when you hear conversation, marks नहीं आते हैं, या difficult question paper है, it is not scoring. This is the This is the impression of those who actually are not working as hard, or maybe they have not exposed themselves that level of work. So my argument is, those who qualify are very different from those people who take attempts. Qualitatively different, the approach is different, the mindsets are different. This year, in general, the marks were subdued across papers. Okay, and students have got two ninety eight, two eighty nine, three hundred marks. Okay, बच्चों के आते हैं marks. So my suggestion to all of you was number one, stop asking people around you. Not everybody is a sincere competitor, and it is typically that 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 uh, narration that builds up the narrative builds up because you ask one person, "Is your class going well?" "Is your class going well?" तेरा कैसे चल रहा है मार्क्स नहीं आते हैं तेरा कैसे चल रहा है आई एम वर्किंग बट नो रिजल्ट्स तुम्हारा कैसे चल रहा है यार पता नहीं यूपीएससी इज सो रैंडम आपका कैसे चल रहा है यू दिस इज एंटायरली लक गेम इफ यू आस्क 10 पीपल एंड ऑल 10 गिव दिस आंसर्स यू आर ऑब्लाइज टू बिलीव दैट शायद ऐसे ही होता है एग्जामिनेशन सो स्टॉप आस्किंग पीपल अराउंड यू एंड इफ यू मस्ट टॉक टू पीपल टॉक टू दोस हु हैव क्वालिफाइड सो आई विल जस्ट गिव एन एग्जांपल टू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके Uh, some of them my students others i know them okay so we have ira single 2014 rank number 1 her marks in geography was to 306 okay we have shweta chauhan 16 326 crazy marks hain okay we have pratham kaushik this is among the highest marks okay and fortunately he was also my student okay 327 marks okay uh, junaid ahmed 321 ajay singh Okay, we don't have his marks, and uh, Yashar, Yashar, we are for last. These all marks, three hundred to ninety plus, and there are more. 
I just give the toppers that we have. Of these, okay, uh, some of them have been my students. Ajay has been my student. Uh, Pratham has been my student. Uh, Junaid, some conversations around. Uh, Yashat, not my student, but then in other ways we were in touch. And this year, okay, uh, three of them, uh, the topper may say, okay, we have uh, Preksha, we have Nitin Singh, okay, rank 30, rank 32, we have Shubham. Uh, I think some of you have met them also. Okay, they were in the class also for some sessions. Yes. And they have got marks. 289, 270, 298 marks. So my point is, those who qualify, unke marks aate So please tell yourself that. That I am not among the students at general. Okay, I can get marks and I can score. That's your first important start point. So all of you in your notebooks, pehle aap ye aap. I can score because you doubt that this doubt kind of really demotivates us. Okay. Uh, how much you should aspire? Put a random number. Jo aapko chhi lagta hai. Kya I'll aspire for 300. I'll aspire for 290. Whatever. Okay. I can score marks. Yes, correct. Okay. Shubham. Yes, Shubham has been my student. Correct. All three of them have been student here. Okay. Yes, we can score marks and we can make. Let's start there. Okay, not in general, people marks nahi aate. Okay, that's one point. Now, uh, this is typical representation of uh, the aspirants. Say, each dot represents maybe one of you aspirants. Ab dekhoge, uh, lakhs mein hai the bottom rung. I mean, uh, six, seven lakhs appear the examination. Aspirants who fill up the forms. 12, 13 lakhs. To this, if you add maybe state services, it goes beyond 25 lakhs. Okay. And to qualify, they are these ones. These ones are the ones to qualify. Just a representation. There's a huge base here. Okay. And see, people who come out from this are not generally people with extraordinary skills. No. They have some skills, definitely. But who don't come out is ke both reasons. Hai. And the reasons are not always random and luck. So I'll just give you one table here. If I ask you, uh, I hope you all can read these points here. So can you note this down, point, all of you? So if I ask somebody, kya pata aapke marks you nahi aate okay, Your answers will be one or more of these. Write this down, please. I do not know the books, what to read. I lack motivation. Okay. I don't practice PYQs enough. Just the key heads we up. What are the common reasons why we say we don't qualify or we don't get marks? I do not know the books, what to read. Okay. I'd like motivation for whatever reasons. I don't practice PYQs. Very limited answer writing practice. Okay. Lack of consistency. Kabhi karta hon, kabhi nahi karta hon. So somewhere consistency is linked to motivation also. Lack of consistency. Yes, yes. Write this down. Okay. They go answer writing skills. Okay. Ek bahut important part of attitude building. Okay. So I want you to start in some way with me. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Keshav. Discipline is part of this one. Yes. I started late. Time nahi hua. Some of you begin the cycle as late as November, December. I didn't have time. I had to do prelims. Some other random, whatever you have in mind. I don't have a planner. Help me plan. The questions are very tough. Okay, samaj me nahi aata questions kya pooch raha hai. And some of you may be luck factor. These are uh, broadly, okay, the nine, ten reasons you have. Okay, now can you spend maybe one or two minutes and identify your four or five points that impact you the most. What are your four or five points? Why you think you can, okay, you can't write good answers. Or if you can write good answers, tell me those four or five points that you have worked on. What are your own points? Online, all of you, please. Just stick it off or maybe number them one, two, three, four. Okay, fine. Okay. 
oh my god you must change your uh, user name it says predator go, why matlab think of some positive name predator why <laughs> uh, shashi you started late okay lack of writing practice no guidance okay add this no guidance no guidance mein to bahut kuch aa jayega fine theek hai whatever you think okay so this is what i know and i did one survey okay uh, with some students uh, this is what i got most people said they began late isme koi right wrong answer nahi hai a lot of people said luck is a factor so almost that in qualify many of them said questions bahut tough hai samajh mein nahi aate what are they asking so i had my own uh, a survey and i noted this down theek whatever works for you okay let's move on on this now now your actual appreciation okay yeah let's start off now okay adarsh i, I get your point so i i tell my students that whenever you enter any exercise you can must see that as a game that you play i mean this one of the uh, coaching sessions i have attended कि जब भी आपको प्रॉब्लम आए जब कोई आपको चैलेंज आए सी दैट एज अ गेम इन अ गेम व्हाट हैपेंस इज यू कैन लूज बट ऑट यू नॉट डाई ओके एंड इन अ गेम यू मे विन बट नो गारंटी यू विन अगेन अंटिल यू हैव मास्टर्ड एंड प्रैक्टिस्ड इट देन आस्ट हिम कि व्हाई डू व्हाई डू यू वांट मी टू लुक एट इट लाइक अ गेम बिकॉज इट इज इफ एट अ मेंटल लेवल यू वर्क एज अ गेम You you have a confidence that you'll get a chance again. फिर आपको वो डर नहीं होता है मरने वाला. Okay, it's like you know when you are playing your computer games. It's never a matter of life and death. You try, you fail. You try, you fail. You try, you fail, and then you start learning some tricks. You know the patterns eventually. Okay, अच्छा ऐसे होने से ऐसे हो जाता है. And maybe two, two, three, four days में you kind of Okay, understand what the game is. I mean uh, that uh, a subway surfer. I don't know if you guys play or not. Okay, I mean you start off, your hand will not work, but then I have seen how quickly you can move your fingers. Uh, back a couple of years ago, there used to be one game called as Temple Run. Okay, I am sure some of you have played it. The same thing. Uh, there used to be the age of umpires. पहले कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा what's going on. you keep on trying you fail you keep on trying you fail okay and then you you crack the whole program itself eventually so he said ki doing that and working like it's a game it helps you fir aapko dar nahi lagega ya dekha jayega galat ho jayega i'll come back again so my same analogy here see the whole upsc preparation like a game you are playing okay and you must partly develop skills and partly also crack the pattern agar samajh mein aa gaya ki kya chal raha hai kya nahi chal raha hai you can address it the same thing i'll say okay look at answer writing like a game okay ki kya pattern hai what is going to be asked okay what is accepted what is rejected if you do that you can learn better so i see this like a game and in a game very important thing is you must know what the game is about that's a step number 1 like say i do not know baseball if i do not know baseball i'll not take a bat and then run into the uh, stadium right mai kya karunga pehle padhunga ki kya game hai kya rules hai what's required like when is the man out when not out what are great shots i'll do some research here okay i will try to decode the game first the same thing i'm starting off answer writing so we are trying to decode answer writing and i see the answer writing essentially is an exercise in synthesis dekho if i tell you the answer writing is an exercise in how much can you write in 3 hours to aap kya karoge ya acha likhe bura likhe paper bhar dena and that's what we have done in our many of you have done in the college examination if i tell you answer writing is an exercise in okay uh how can you impress examiner 
विथ ब्यूटिफुल प्रेजेंटेशन तो आप क्या करेंगे आप बहुत सुंदर सुंदर लिखोगे आप कलर यूज करके डायग्राम बनाकर इफ आई टेल यू एंसर राइटिंग इज हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन कैन यू अटेम्प्ट तो आप क्या करोगे यू ट्राई एज मेनी एज पॉसिबल सो एवरी एवरी अप्रोच ऑफ एंसरिंग डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ डू यू सी दैट पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट Yes, and most of us come from that background. Write more, you'll get marks. Jitna page bhara, utne marks aayenge. I say no. In UPSC, see it like this: that examination answer writing is an exercise in synthesis. Now, what I mean by this is, what I mean by this is. See. We have answer writing. So there are two parts. One part of answer writing is knowledge. Your content. Your a uh, technical knowledge is one aspect of your okay your answer content then there are parts about how do you how do you organize ideas how do you relate to issues around you it's also about how you manage some contemporary issue aap ye char cheez ko mila kar okay you have an answer for upsc yes the principle also applies to gs also okay that's why i'm saying answer writing is an act of synthesis aap kuch cheez jod rahe ho aap kya jod rahe ho you are combining knowledge so if i take up geography write a note on tectonics write a note on isostasy write a note on geosync lines और आपने ऑल द राइट टेक्टोनिक्स इंटरनल फोर्सेस कोलिजन माउंटेन बिल्डिंग वोल्कैनिज्म आइसोस्टेसी अपलिफ्टमेंट सब्सिडेंट्स ओलिवाइन जियो सिंक्लाइन डिप्रेशन ऑल द टेक्निकल कंटेंट ओके इज योर नॉलेज बट जस्ट राइटिंग दैट विल नॉट सफाइस वॉट एवर यू मस्ट राइट There is an element of how to organize. हम शुरू कैसे करेंगे? What do I write after what? What do I follow after what? How do I end? That's your organizing or your uh, structuring ability. Whatever you know, can you relate to something around you? कुछ सुना होगा, कुछ पढ़ा होगा. Say I saw Stacy. Arctic melting, isostasy, sea level rise, plate tectonics, maybe earthquakes, plate tectonics, volcanism in parts of the okay, Pacific Ocean, uh, plate tectonics, maybe about okay problems of tsunami challenges, and then using that, how can I manage something which is contemporary, say Afghanistan? earthquakes and india's role in a uh, disaster assistance uh isostasy and uh, programs to ensure issues like or many issues like deforestation mining there's something around contemporary issues aapko ye sara combine karke you must present your answer this your left hand side wala hai this 
I call as your academic base. And this is your personality test plus your analytical okay and your administrative test administrative uh, skills test that's how your answers are typically okay expired out of you so aap jo bhi likhoge see you have studied a topic of geomorphology which which all geography colleges have read which even schools 11 12th when they have read <laughs> which every coaching institute of books have taught you but this will not get you the entire marks this is as important <laughs> very good content but lack of structuring very good content lack of structuring प्लस आप रिलेट नहीं कर पा रहे हो विद सम एंड यस एब्सोल्यूटली एवरी क्वेश्चन में ये पॉसिबल है आई शो दैट टू यू बिकॉज आई एम डूइंग जियोफॉलॉजी आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल साइट नो ऑल्सो एंड आपको दिखा देंगे क्वेश्चन कि कैसे क्वेश्चन आर शिफ्टिंग ऑन दिस साइड द रीजन वाई आई एम से इट्स अ पर्सनैलिटी थिंग आई कम बैक ऑन दिस अगेन सो इफ योर एंसर राइटिंग इज अबाउट सर कंटेंट लिख दिया मार्क्स दे दो Okay, you will never get the desired marks, and if they twist the question, you are trapped. So let's get this thing right first. I said, your answer writing is essentially around your skills of synthesizing. They're about your skills of how you put things together. Okay, I hope you have got these points right now. Come back on this. Okay, so there is a the knowledge part. There's an organization part and there's relate apply part. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, Sudarshan. Yes. This, these are skills you can't learn overnight. Okay, you have to be patient. At least, up awareness to karo na. Ab dekho kaise karna hai. Wo second part hai. Pehle awareness to ho acha. This is the game. Apko awareness hi nahi hai. To ab kya karoge ab? So for most of you, going to class and coming back is enough. Okay, you will not qualify like that. So I've joined a course and and I'm getting answers. Okay, you can't qualify. Or ye bhi yaad rakhiye aap. Most tests, corrections ho, most tests ke question papers ho. They are rarely done by trained people who can teach this to you. For most places, and including in my place also, lot of corrections done by people. Who are students themselves? Okay, so if you don't know what's required, and you only depend on the feedback you get, not knowing who's giving the feedback, you'll be in trouble. So, forget about what's required. Okay, you have to know 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 what's required. Okay फोर इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल्स आर एक है कंटेंट कमांड ओके सेकेंड इज क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंडिंग कंटेंट कमांड क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंडिंग देन स्पीड स्ट्रक्चरिंग आपने क्वेश्चन देखा और आपके दिमाग में स्ट्रक्चर आ गया दट हाउ आई विल राइट द एंसर एंड द फोर्थ इज द अप्लाइड बेस जो कि करंट अफेयर बेस्ड होता है If you understand answer writing as a synthesis skill, these are the four things part of synthesis skills: content command, question understanding, and I am saying speed structuring means question. Dekha, it's there in your mind. Okay, and applied. You tell me of the four things, what do you think is the most easiest part? Which is the most serious part? Content command. That is where all the courses are. We have given notes, we have read, we have studied. I have given you some 
okay uh, article to read you memorize something and my assumption is those who write the mains examination who sit in the exam hall are those who definitely have the content in control otherwise wo nikal hi nahi payega prelims i mean uh, all of you are part of most of you are part of my class of geomorphology right now jo aapne shuru kiya tha geomorphology i'm sure some of you are struggling mantle asthenosphere inner core outer core uh, discontinuities many of you did not know oceans are different continents are different uh, some of you discovered a new word called isostasy ki pehli baar sun rahe hain and i'm sure you were very restless at that time now go back and ask yourself okay do you know the concept or not write in 40 words isostasy kya hai at least you know this or not all of you will say yes we know it okay now do you all know what is tectonic theory yes do you know what's the geosync line concept yes do you know the four people who talked about geosync lines scuchert style even steer scober char panch naam pata hai na aapko so imagine what 10 days ago was no clue ki kya hai kya chal raha hai now yahan pata hai if i ask you today which is more difficult slope theory or geosync line you will say slope theory as a wait for 10 minute 10 days more when i start with topic some other topic i'll ask you again which is more difficult you say the new one is more difficult that's how we learn when i began davis and pink you had no idea about what davis and you were struggling evolution all that ab main padha hu l seeking padha raha hu i'll ask you now l seeking tough hai ya davis tough hai you will say l seeking samajh mein nahi aa raha davis is understood no stage time evolution cycle youth to senile that's over khatam ho gaya kahani now l seeking you are struggling said so bottom se top kyun ho raha hai a new word you know is bessel sapping you scratching your head correct that's how knowledge is so what looks unmanageable right now give yourself 15 days 10 days time you look back and see i know it now but yes the more you revise you remember better but you know it so the two parts one is content familiarity and the second is content command for most of us and i'll say for all of us by the time the syllabus gets over you would be content familiar आप ये नहीं बोलोगे ये सुना नहीं है टर्म वेरी रेयरली बट वॉट इज मिसिंग फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ यू इज कंट एंड कमांड कमांड इज वॉट यू नो द एंटायर कंसेप्ट वेल यू कैन रिकॉल इमीडिएटली ऑल द डायग्राम्स आर नोन यू नो ऑल द टर्म्स एंड टेक्निकल वन यूर इन कमांड ओके विदाउट द कमांड मैं इसके आगे बात भी नहीं करूंगा आपके साथ बट वट हैपन्स इज मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर स्ट्रगलिंग हेयर So when I am saying, okay, content command करो, तरीका कैसे? Indirectly I am saying, okay, memorize the content. So memorize नहीं होता। मैं कहता हूँ, synopsis लिखो, अपने आप होगा re-memorize। किताब पढ़ो, हो जाएगा, command हो जाएगा। Do the workbook command हो जाएगा। सारा work is right now on content command. I want this to be your strong strength first. इसके आगे हम ये बात करेंगे ना। If content command नहीं है, फिर तो आप ये कुछ नहीं कर पाओगे यहाँ पर आप लोग। I will go over the point here. The mathematics mean we call this condition as okay enough but sorry important but not sufficient. It's very important but not enough. You need something more. But first, move towards content command. Content command ka measure kya hai? Shut your eyes. Can you recall the entire notes or not? Shut your eyes. Can you recall all diagrams or not? without seeing the book can you draw the diagrams or not quickly that is content command practice beta practice yahan ke rakhenge hum iske liye practice nahi chahiye hona chahiye aapka you come to you come to it's like you know i am in a arm i am in a war in the war i need three things i must have good fighting skills as in acha aim hona chahiye i must know how to operate my guns that's one second is i must have a thinking strategy mind also yahan se attack kare ki wahan se attack kare okay third strong emotion control 
I can't get scared. So the first skill is learn how to shoot a gun. Strategy baad mein aayega na? Like, yahan se attack kare, wahan se attack kare. Soch rahe ho gun pakadna hi nahi aata. Kya karoge kya? Okay. Strategy bana liya. Okay. Gun pakad liya. Itna dare hoye ki pant gila ho gaya. Isme kya lade karoge aap? So these are those things: strategy, emotion. This is your ability to use a gun. So let us be very sure about this one. What are you doing for this? And do this quickly. You can't be spending one year only on this. Khadam karo fada fad. Sir, content command hai. So if I ask you, how many of you can tell me with confidence, Hathu Dhagar? Because jotna padhaya abhi tak, sir. I remember it by heart. I will not miss a single word, content or diagrams. If you can do that, I know you are good here. But most are struggling here itself. हम तो आगे बढ़ी नहीं पा रहे ना आप लोगों के साथ में इज रोके ऑल ऑफ यू यर विल विल डू दिस टूगेदर एंड देन आई कॉल दैट एज सिंथेसाइजिंग स्किल्स ओके सो आई होप यू रोड द पॉइंट यस स्विच ऑफ द फैन स्कोर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ यू ओके देन वी कैन इस तरफ है आई डो नॉट नो Is it working? Okay, fine. Okay, let's move on. Now, having done that, having done that, a quick analysis of, and I have discussed this with some of you already. Analysis of, like I said, if you know the game, we analyze what type of questions are asked. Okay, so our analysis is that there are three type of questions you asked. You all know this. I'm just repeating it for you. One is L one. Straight from syllabus, just make a content command is your strongest strength here. Is me zada soch zarurat nahi hai. L one questions, straight questions from the books, from the notes. What is geosync line? Write a note. What are types of geosync lines? The views of style. Write a note. What is isostasy? Compare contrast area and Pratt's theory. That's an L one question. What are the interiors of Earth? And the earthquake evidences for interiors. Is no, कुछ सोचना नहीं है. Okay, पता है उगल देना है. Straight away, no thinking on this. Is L one question. L three questions are all of those now. Organizing skills, ability to okay relate with current affairs. This requires the next level. It requires lot of interconnectedness between topics. You'll find these questions more in paper two and in human geography. Water management, rural development, transportation issues, uh, issues around demography, poverty. Okay, and a transition type of topic is beach me. Asan bhi nahi hai, bahut tough bhi nahi hai. So we call this an L two is like a is a deeper understanding, but not as deep as this one. These are the three type of questions asked, and our analysis of the questions are this. This analysis will last two years paper. Okay. L two, L three questions, twenty two may seventy percent of questions. Okay, and you can do so on your own also for that matter. Okay, twenty one may paper one may again okay seventy eight percent is okay L two, L three, L one is consistent declining. Or me kya sa aage ja kar na ye badhne wala hai. A fifty percent ho chuka. Okay, fifty seven percent ho chuka. It will increase, and you'll find paper two may they tend to ask okay more of L three questions and L two questions. This is my analysis. Okay, you can go back and I'll show you some of this also. Which means your content command is not going to help you alone. वो तो करना ही करना है. You want something else beyond content command. ठीक है? Okay, let's move on from here. Now see in in geography. That there is, so I'm discussing geography answer writing. I'm discussing geography answer writing. Geography typically is physical geography, uh, environment geography. There is population and culture. There is settlement geography. There is development geography. There is economic geography. ऐसे कुछ टॉपिक्स हैं 
if I summarize everything together, geography has four or five broad themes. Thank you. Which are geography is set of concepts, concepts and terms. आप ये यूज करोगे आई नो कि आप ज्योग्राफी स्टूडेंट हो जैसे कि टेक्टोनिक्स एक्रिशनरी प्रिज्म ओलिवाइन फ्लो जियो सिंक्लाइन लोकेशन मेडिटेरेनियन सी इज अ मेसो जियो सिंक्लाइन ओके अर्थक्वेक बेल्ट वी हैव गॉट सबडक्शन जोन बेनी ऑफ अर्थक्वेक बेल्ट ये वही टर्म यूज कर सकता है हु हैज डन ज्योग्राफी Without geography, you can't use these terms at all. The more has shear cracks, the more has axial rift valley. There is slab pull force. There is ridge push force. You can't use karega terms. A guy who has done geography, your answer must have the terms and concepts typical to geography, which I presume you all are working on. Skilava. ज्योग्राफी का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट थीम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थीम इन ज्योग्राफी इज स्पेस स्पेस एज इन सम लोकेशन स्पेस एज इन सम एरिया स्पेस एज इन अ प्लेस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थीम इन ज्योग्राफी ओके अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थीम इन ज्योग्राफी इज मैन इन्वायरमेंट रिलेशन दर इज There is a human angle in every topic of geography. Earthquakes, cities are vulnerable. Volcanoes, how they impact disaster vulnerability. Isostasy, as a consequence of man's global warming, melting ice impacting balance of isostasy. The slope type and slope stability. लैंडस्लाइड्स हर टॉपिक में एक मैन एंगल बनता है ओके एंड इन ज्योग्राफी देर इज अ सोल्यूशन डायमेंशन नाउ दैट आई नो दैट स्लोप्स कैन बी वलरेबल वॉट कैन बी डू नाउ दैट आई नो रिवर्स आर एजेंट्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन बेसल सैपिंग वॉट कैन आई डू अबाउट द रिवर्स the sediments carried and how they impact downstream now that i know that the slopes can have a vertical scarp face what does it mean for slope stability now that i know there are tectonic processes going on what does it mean to me in terms of earthquake vulnerability mapping and what can i do for earthquake response systems i hope you got the point here तो हर टॉपिक का एनी टॉपिक को टेक अप देर इज अ कंसेप्ट एंड देर आर दिस टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स दीज आर द टेक्निकल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ अ सब्जेक्ट डोंट स्टॉप हियर दिस इज स्पेस एस्पेक्ट स्पेस इज अबाउट लोकेशन स्पेस इज अबाउट अ प्लेस इट्स अबाउट अ रीजन सो इफ आई आस्क यू राइट ए नोट ऑन वोलकैनिज्म How do you show a space dimension in that? Online, offline. If writing an answer on volcanism, how do you show a space dimension? You draw a map. How do you show a space dimension? You tell me a place where it's happened. Have you got the point here? Okay. So, your jo location maps, eh? The maps cover the space dimension. So imagine. i have a topic i'm writing without maps i have a topic i'm writing without place reference simple question uh, write okay a note on india's water challenges the question is sir water challenges in geography kyun hai sir to gs hands question ho gaya i said no no first water challenges me tell me what are the geography dimensions volcanism water hydrological cycle and water the process of how okay wind circulations happen and impacting water precipitation okay so if i do that i have got geography into 
द वॉटर इश्यूज ग्राउंड वॉटर एक्यूफर्स एक्यूफर जोग्राफी टर्म है आपका सरफेस रन ऑफ इज जोग्राफी चैनल मोर्फोलॉजी इज वॉटर टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रीम्स आई आस्क यू राइट ए नोट ऑन इंडिया वॉटर इश्यूज तो आपके आंसर में दिखना चाहिए चैनल मोर्फोलॉजी द मोमेंट आई से वॉटर यू आर रिकॉल की जोग्राफी के क्या क्या टर्म्स वॉटर वाले आते हैं रिवर रेजीम्स चैनल मोर्फोलॉजी ग्राउंड वॉटर एक्यूफर्स ओके प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइड्रोलॉजिकल साइकिल परकोलेशन रन ऑफ आई हैव गॉट ऑल द टर्म्स करेक्ट नाउ गिव मी स्पेस डायमेंशन नाउ टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्लेस द फॉलोइंग पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया हैज ग्राउंड वॉटर रिसोर्सेज ड्रॉ मैप एंड शो मी द रीजन द फॉलोइंग पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया कैन हैव प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वॉटर शॉर्टेजेस जगह दिखा बना के दिखाओ मुझे आप ओके दिस इन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ सिटी विच हैज सीरियस वॉटर क्राइसिस An example of a place where water management was done with rainwater harvesting. The moment I talk about a place, I draw a map. This part is done. Next, okay. Water problem of India. What is the human dimension to it? A water problem is partly because of the way man uses the water. It's partly because of the way I am okay polluting the water. It's partly because of the way I am diverting the water. That's the human angle and solutions. Because I understand man is an important issue. Solutions are integrated water harvest systems like what we have done in Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana. Okay, the solution lies in okay Atal Bhujal Yojana. Lies in okay Jal Jeevan Mission. So when I am asking a question on राइट ए नोट अबाउट वॉट इशूज ऑफ इंडिया मैं टेक्निकल टर्म्स हिट किया आई शो द प्लेसेस टू यू आई शो द मैन इन्वायरमेंट रिलेशनशिप अबाउट वॉटर इशूज एंड आई गिव सोल्यूशन बिकॉज जोग्राफी हैज सोल्यूशन डायमेंशन ऑल्सो जम ऑफ यू डन दैट एज ए पार्ट ऑफ जोग्राफिकल थॉट हाउ जोग्राफी सेवेंटीज ऑनवर्ड्स हैज नाउ बिकम प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग डिसिप्लिन जोग्राफी इज पार्ट ऑफ planning geography is part of disaster management geography is part of removing inequalities geography part of landscape development so agar answer mein ye nahi hai okay then something is missing no 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 this can be applied for human geography definitely but also for physical geography ek ek topic do na mujhe physical geography i'll tell you what give me one topic of physical geography origin of continents theek hai All, all the technical words of continents, origin, tectonics, collision, fold mountains, cratons, accretion prism, Wilson cycle. Are there any technical terms? How have the continents originated? Come towards the place. There are micro continents. There are okay super continents. India was part of Gondwana land. Okay, Pangaea broke up. these are the parts draw and show that tectonics okay oh sorry uh, oh, content building includes mountain building tell me the places so the eurasian location is part of continent collision and fusion can i say that maine map bana diya man environment if you understand this aspect of continent origin we also understand lot of vulnerabilities related to continent's origin वोल्कैनिज्म आ जाएगा इसमें अर्थक्विक्स आ जाएगा इसमें इट इंक्लूड्स मैपिंग फॉर अर्थक्विक वेरेबिलिटी एंड द सोल्यूशन टॉक अबाउट फोरकास्टिंग सोल्यूशन अबाउट अर्थक्विक मैनेजमेंट सोल्यूशन अबाउट दैट द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ अर्थ ओरिजिन एंड कॉन्टिन्यूस ओरिजिन इज नॉट सिंपली ऑन अर्थ दैट्स वाई वी हैव ओके स्पेस मिशन लाइक जूनो मिशन like chandrayaan project where we'll find out how those celestial bodies were made every topic you take me any topic maine ye char head mein dal dena hai so if you focus only on content of the class you're only doing this you must move towards this also is it okay all of you here because i started with this point that fundamentally geography is 
uh, so answer adding is uh, exercise in synthesis. How to conclude? Beta, yehi to conclusion ban jayega aapka. Conclusion is not a separate thing, right? Logically, what is the issue? Where do we have the issue? How are people related? And what we must do? What we must do is your logical conclusion. Then enough. Kitna likhna hai? That's a structuring thing. Kitne words ka hai? Kitna time aapke paas bacha hua hai? Okay. So this is almost like an answer structure in some ways. Yes, Pravash. I can link, I saw, I see, drift everything and move towards solution here. Now that I understand these aspects of tectonics, I saw, I see, we have to be cognizant about how man impacts the crustal stability. That's it. Okay, fine. Because I think you understand this point here. So, the same summarization, this is your broad scope of geography. Geography is physical geography, environment geography, economic, population, geographical thought, philosophy, political geography, and all of this milagar, we have regional planning. The problem is, when you start answer writing by studying only physical geography, you don't have this element at all in mind. When I'm saying solution, kya hai batao? Programs kya hai batao? You have no idea about planning, rural issues, urban problems, water issues. So, you don't have to do it. So, if I say that not on Davis theory, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. So, you see, answer writing works best when the entire syllabus is in control first. You know all the dimensions because Every physical geography has an environment angle to it. So wait for this. Every physical geography has an economic dimension. Wait for that. Okay. Oops. I was here. Yeah. So every uh, physical geography will have something about population, settlements, and planning. So this is one important realization. That you can't write answers quickly. So right now, what you can do is focus on command of the content. And yes, where possible, I'll initiate you here. But this happens, will happen for some days later. Fine here. Abhishek, how to do we are not studying. First, I'm trying to help you appreciate what is answer writing. How to do will happen. By the time I end up, I would have taught that to you. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Okay. So, so I say these are the broadheads. And, and there is a, see, the physical geography and geographical thought, jo hai na, it's more concepts and they are static. You can't apply too much of creativity in geosync lines, can you? Hai to hai. Hall ne dana say so. Style say so. Cobra say so. Bas utar dena hai. You don't have too much of cri uh, say, problems of creativity. Issues of creativity. In just streams. Cho hai so hai likra lo usi ko. Your actual applied one happens when you in environment geography, when you know populist settlements and when you in economic. So if you start answer writing only from here, you are in trouble. You need the entire arc of completion. Yes, I was coming towards that. Exactly, Shubham. Exactly. Okay. So, to be able to apply this, your command should be good across this. When I say water, I'm quickly mapping with India's water aquifers, mapping with global water problems, mapping with water and maybe hydrogen extraction, water and moon mission with the water wala hai na? Southern Pole. Okay, so time has been Land has been done or not? By 6 o'clock. Okay, fine. Okay. So I should be able to recall very quickly. So you need a command across all of this. The physical geography thought is static. It's more concepts. You must apply these dimensions also. Okay. 
यस यस राइट इट डाउन यू यू अप्रिशिएट व्हेन यू स्टार्ट ऑफ और मैंने अलग से रखा है पॉलिटिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड स्पेशल एस्पेक्ट्स ओके दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशंस ये पार्ट ऑफ योर मैपिंग डिपिक्शंस ओके फाइन यस यस यू राइट द फिजिकल ज्योग्राफी लेटली दे हैव एडेड lot of applied terms also correct okay fine now you're asking me how to do it right so these are your three steps and this applies more on topics which have human aspects okay now listen jahan par question straight hai What are geosync lines? Write an answer. Write a note on Davis and Penck, or compare contrast tectonics and uh, drift theory. What is mountain building? Usme L one questions and will not bother you much. But questions which are L three type, which are open ended type, which are current affairs based type, which are interpretation type. वहां पर दिस इज द टेक्निक वन इज पिकअप द क्वेश्चन एंड डिसाइड योर पोजिशन फर्स्ट लाइक से पास ए क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज अ ज्योग्राफी क्वेश्चन ओके डिस्कस द मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स ऑफ इंडिया एज अ प्लेयर इन इंडो पैसेफिक जियो पॉलिटिक्स I'm asking you discuss India's position, India's strengths or weaknesses in this new geopolitics of Indo-Pacific. So, first of all, you must declare your position. Mentally, position me kya hai? Oh, India is a as is at a great advantageous position, but lot to do. That's my position. Discuss lithium. locations of the world and uh, maybe something on india's lithium policy to pehle batao aapka position kya hai position is lithium very important india mein bahut kam lithium hai the position is india must do something beyond lithium that's my position theek hai then you must find an anchoring theme जैसे कि इंडो पैसिफिक में द पोजिशन इज इंडिया हैज अ ग्रेट एडवांटेज बट इंडिया मस्ट डू ए लॉट पोजिशन इज यस इट्स एडवांटेजेस द एंकरिंग थीम इज इंडिया डज नॉट हैव दैट मच ऑफ मिलिट्री माइट बट इंडिया हैज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अराउंड साइक्लोन प्रोडिक्शन ट्रेड रूट्स एंड पायरेसी a lot on fishing innovations india and okay issues related to maybe coral reefs management so anchoring theme for me in indo pacific is india and environment india disaster management because if i write a military i will lose the link there so my position is india is in a good position but i'll write about india's position from The environment dimension from disaster, okay, management dimension, and then I will move towards social issues, development, and so on. मुझे कुछ एक concern दिखाना पड़ेगा. One more example. Discuss development prospects of the northeast, keeping in light or keeping in mind. the unique geographical position and the challenges of recent times ya hard core geography question hai north east ka development and these are paper two questions okay as a paper one mein it's generally l1 types so north east development keeping in mind its geographical position and the current issues my opinion what's the position position is north east is very unique it has a tremendous potential but unfortunately there are issues there that's the position acha prospects hain 
anchoring theme anchoring theme is i will write about the tribal diversity i will write about the proximity in terms of asean and i'll write about the biological resources forests water organic okay resources because of geographical uh, locations okay that's my anchoring theme and then i'll move on towards social issues education conflicts development roads i will talk about border issues uh, drug trades employment out migration many move kar dena so any question which is open ended close ended may believe me you do not have too much thing to do we so just mention uh, a map uh, with a problem and solution work is done the problem is when the question looks like a gs question so this is your technique first anchor yourself yes absolutely this technique is also applicable for essays the more abstract the topic the more open the question the more okay uh, 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 you say you say say diverse the approach required this will be your approach get the opinion your position first ki mera position hai okay let's say write a note on uh, uh, say say uh, um, issues related to say jammu kashmir article 370 to pehle bata aapka position kya position is is time that we have to integrate the entire state into the larger economic and political development of the country that's my position anchoring theme anchoring theme is infrastructure political stability deal with conflicts and then i move on towards what all we can do aage se map bana diya jagah bata diya i have linked it with geopolitical aspects my work is done we all get this three points all of you what i mean by position pehle you take a position my position is i will talk about this one and then you identify the core thing why is this important okay fine now see your answer is effectively two pages of answer maximum three pages of answer three pages means approximately 250 words or on the higher side 300 words aap batao if i take up any issue how much should i write so that i can do justice in discussing that issue any idea ek ek word mein batao say take up any issue say uh, problems of tiger death or cheetah death in india kitna likhoge to ke lagega ha ki yaar okay you have covered most important issues batao what the minimum you must write down at least one paragraph one paragraph Maybe two paragraphs, okay. One paragraph means how many words? Any idea? आपके पेज में तो इतना पैराग्राफ है, so one third of a page. How many words will that be? पचास वर्ड, साठ वर्ड. Okay, ठीक है. I am generous. Seventy words on the higher side. Okay. आपका पूरा आंसर है ढाई सौ वर्ड का. ठीक है. To discuss one issue, you need seventy words. Correct. there is a two line introduction there is a two three lines conclusion how many issues can you actually write in 250 words where you need at least 40 50 60 words for doing justice to a issue how many issues can you actually cover not more than how many issues four issues three issues right which means anything you take up can have 10 15 dimensions to it but aap likh sakte hain ki 10 15 dikh sakte hain ki likh sakoge ki no you must pick up the most important two three that is why i need an anchoring theme you take up any issue the agriculture is the angle there will be a environment angle there will be a security angle there will be a tribal issue there will be a geopolitical angle there will be a infrastructure angle 
देर वी इश्यू अराउंड मे बी माइग्रेशन एंगल आप सबको लिख ही नहीं सकते आप यू मस्ट चूज की ऑफ दीज फिफ्टीन डायमेंशन वॉट विल आई फोकस ऑन दैट इज माई एंकरिंग थीम सो आई एम बिलीव इन की एस नॉर्थ ईस्ट मस्ट डेवलप दैट्स माई पोजिशन एंकरिंग थीम आई थिंक आई राइट मोर अबाउट एनवायरमेंट इशूज एंड ट्राइबल डाइवर्सिटी दैट्स माई एंकरिंग थीम वॉट इट ऑल ऑफ यू विदाउट एंकरिंग थीम आप फैल जाओगे you will spread so much you will not know okay what to leave out and what to write on fine all of you that's why you need anchoring team so anchoring team helps you decide what to focus more on yes okay so that's uh, moving from l1 towards l2 this applies more on lc type of questions Okay, and there's something more. I'll come back on that afterwards. Or give me a few more minutes. Okay, now. So typically, at the planning level, okay, you take up a question. The planning level is decide your position, decide anchoring theme, and develop a storyline. Okay, what I mean by storyline? Structure. Say write about India's water issues. Storyline: India is water scarce. Some parts of India have more water. Some parts of India have less water. Because we have less water in A, B, C places, we have these kind of problems. We cannot have more water than we what we have today. Okay, because in the future we'll have global warming, rivers drying up. Uh, rainfall disruptions therefore we must do these four five things and we are doing these things that's your story line write a note on geo sync lines the story line geo sync lines are this we need geo sync lines for explaining mountains geo sync lines where these types accord these people Cobert said, "Geo sync lines for mountains like this." The recent de development tells us that geo sync lines are not required anymore because we have tectonics. That's the storyline. The storyline is in six, seven bullets. Me, what are the key heads you'll cover? And storyline can vary dramatically. Say, what are geo sync lines? At a short note. some can start with mountains are important because of which we need geo sync lines some can start with geo sync lines are these and they were used for mountain building okay explanations that's your choice so story line is the structure of the answer any question you have okay identify the anchor so i say if i ask you uh, write a note on geo sync lines what do you think you, your anchor should be in geo sync lines there are five very important concepts one is why did we think of geo sync lines second is what is the mechanism of how a geo sync line behaves whatever it does sinking flow and so on the third theme could be how geo sync lines become mountains the fourth could be how geo sync lines are relevant today or not the fifth is modern approaches so aap batao ye char mein se what do you want to focus on that's your choice i will want to focus on that theme that gives me the command in showing that i know the concept very well so for me i think the most important is how did people vary in geo sync lines and how they become mountains compression thermal contraction okay uh, uh, movement of continents and geo sync lines uh, becoming mountains i'll focus on that write a note on tectonics and explain different type of boundaries there can be many things in this but i think i'll focus more on the tectonics are essential the consequence of 
इंटरनल डायनामिज्म मैं वहां फोकस करूंगा बिकॉज आई कैन राइट अबाउट कन्वेक्शन सेल्स आई कैन राइट अबाउट ओके द टाइप ऑफ वोल्कैनिज्म आई कैन टॉक अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ अर्थक्वेक्स दस माई थीम एंड आई डेवलप फ्रॉम देर so every question requires an anchoring theme from anchoring theme move towards the story line and from there think of what type of concepts you need aryan that's your problem you cannot do this in the exam hall for the first time ye aapko karna hoga back in your room first right now you are focusing mainly on रिप्रोड्यूसिंग द क्लास नोट दैट सॉल्व आप सोच कहां रहे हो आप क्वेश्चन पे देर सो मे थिंग राइट अबाउट वॉट विल फोकस ऑन से से कंपेयर कंट्रास्ट डेविस एंड पिंक यू टेल मी इफ यू मस्ट गेट मोर मार्क्स विच कंसेप्ट इज अ पावरफुल कंसेप्ट टू एंकर ऑन आप बताओ Davis, okay, and Peng. That is fifteen points I can compare contrast, but all fifteen points I can't add fifty words. Can I? Okay, tell me which are the powerful concepts on which I'll focus on in comparison. Time based, non-time based. Okay, what else? Something interesting. जो लगेगा कि बाकी को नहीं पता होगा शायद. What what can that be? one is systems concept not everybody will know this okay one is okay davis idea of slope decline versus peng's idea of slope replacement ye sabko nahi pata hoga one is how davis is rigid in terms of normal theory in terms of only reverse in terms of stage based and what does peng say three anchoring themes i am done baki Davis is German. Davis, uh, sorry, uh, Pink is German. Davis American. He wrote in English. He wrote in German. Okay, he was born in the daytime. He was the nighttime. Uh, Davis starts with D. Pink with P. Eh, बहुत कहानी होते हैं इस टाइप के. That's your skill, no? Your skill of rights writing is. Do you have the ability to pick up the most important issue or not? That's an anchoring theme. So sub point मत लिखो ना. नोट्स so में लिखा दिया सारा पॉइंट्स आपको आइडेंटिफाई करना है वेर द डिस्कशन इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंप्रेसिंग बाकी पॉइंट्स को लिस्ट डाउन द अदर पॉइंट्स आर इन अ टेबल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंट डन आई होप यू गॉट द पॉइंट से आई नो दैट मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स और मोस्ट एस्पिरेंट्स नॉट एप्रिशिएट द आइडिया दैट द पर्पज ऑफ डेविस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पर्पज ऑफ पेंट उसमें लिख देना एक पैराग्राफ Yes, so it's a mix. The less important points, the more obvious points. Don't break your head. Make a table. He knows. I also know. Okay. He wrote. I also wrote. But these are the four points. Hey, not everybody knows. I will add a bit more on that. Is it okay? Every question has an anchoring theme. So, your work should be this. That pick up a question. Okay. Think about what can the concept I can write on. what are the spatial dimensions i may focus on what are the man environment angle i can bring what solutions i can talk about if i can link it and can i bring an anchoring theme or not can i structure or not okay likhenge answer a bit later pehle ye to kaam karo aap log and ask yourself in this question do i have the content command or not agar content command nahi hai then please don't attempt the question at all because pata hi nahi hai to aap kya likhoge right now compare contrast davis pink aapko concept yaad hi nahi hai na abhi aapko so aap how can you think about it if i say write a note on how geosync lines are very good concepts but in present days they are irrelevant concepts so you must think about this ki what's my position what my anchoring discussion can be and how will i develop it so yahi kaam karo pehle aap log yes abhishek uh, uh, abhinash 
a few more minutes i hope you got this idea all of you here and yes this is more relevant for the l3 type of questions okay let's move on i hope you uh, wrote down some points okay uh, i'll come back on this afterwards um this also i will skip for now this i have told you more or less no no not this one i will have something else just a minute okay yes okay now i'm uh, switching gears okay something else i'm discussing now now they go what happens is if i arrange those four things uh, uh, charu yes you can abhi uh, uh, there is no uh, yes or no answer from my side uh, for now appreciate the whole philosophy first then we'll do what we can do so if there is a building okay uh, remember those four things about your uh, answer writing okay one is uh, content command Uh, second is i said uh, ability to understand the question okay third i said a uh, quick structuring and fourth i said was relate with some kind of facts issues solutions so on theek hai four issues are there aapko if this is a building uh, this is a siloth of uh, empire state building where do you think is your content command is it will be the base foundation और दैपिक्स कहां पर होगा ग्रीट योर कंटेंट फाउंडेशन इज द बेस एंड वेर डू थिंक इज द अप्लाइड एस्पेक्ट विल इट बी अगे अप और विल इट बी बिलो कहां पर होगा द टॉप करेक्ट योर अप्लाइड एस्पेक्ट आर एट द टॉप और फाइन ये और बीच में कैन ऑलवेज प्ले विथ स्ट्रक्चरिंग एंड सो ऑन so content is the base and the applied aspects are the top what does our common sense tell us tell us where you must begin base no doubt there your content command is the base and what ultimately you will move towards applied aspect so our our understanding is you are moving from your content command base and moving upwards but there's one difference here the content command is a course across 4 5 6 months okay it applies for gs it applies for geography also gs mein aaram se 12 mahina lagega aapko geography the foundation course will take you 6 months and then you read and advance answer writing theek hai har topic mein wahi hai which means if i'm developing my base can i leave this for afterwards can i afford to do, do that you cannot because aapke paas ek do saal effectively hai in ideal situation yes finish all the base then do the next then do the next typically a sequential process happens but i will recommend against it i will say ye to karo aap but don't wait for this to get over and then start from here you can't afford it as it is i am squeezing your content okay yet it will take you so much time which means it's a two way thing if i look at these two aspects okay there's a base thing foundation content and applied there is a anchoring theme you must develop on uh, you are you are talking about current affairs based relationship where does your personality matter more you as a person it matters foundation pe ya top level pe where does your personality who you are as a person matter the most top mein so content command is typically academics you aap rat ke likh sakte ho by heart memorize and ugal dena but the moment i say give me an applied dimension 
tell me its relevance give me your opinion what do you think okay give me a policy blueprint for this problem i am coming from here and this is true for gs also so this process is a two way thing aapko ye to karna hai aur ye mere sath kar rahe hain aap log but this must happen parallelly that's why i say read the books again open current affairs think on issues related to some developments so so in this list of what is the problem in answer writing aapne jo ranking kiya hai in the ranking development of analytical skill is missing that is the biggest gap you have is it is a challenge hai na anchoring of a team the challenge of understanding a question the biggest gap for most of you is that you lack analytical skills or they are not well developed in your case because as students we have been taught more on the regular type of notes sa mujhe bana ke de do main likh dena for everything whenever you asking for a at least morning i got a bit irritated compare contrast pedi plane penny plane uh, davis peng comparison maine sab padha diya hai now can you apply on your own or not that's your skills of analysis so if i ask you okay what are the two most important things you must do for answer writing most of you will say sir i must practice more sir uh, i must read the books more sir uh, we need motivation uh, uh, we need to have consistency main ye sab side rakho the two most important things are number one get your content solid and that is the easiest thing in the preparation because wo structured hai ye five topics go read one book go read the class notes are there revise but while doing this get into a thinking mode also get into that analytical mode also well so in this in this uh, in this uh, develop your base and move upwards in this list where is l1 question base or top base where is l3 question top आपको L1 तो ग्राउंड करना ही करना है बट देन यू ऑल्सो नीड सम अप्रोच फ्रॉम दिस साइड ऑल्सो सो वॉट हैपन्स इज फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस यही नहीं खत्म हो पाता है आप कभी यहां हिट कर ही नहीं पाते हो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस बिकॉज आवर स्कूलिंग हैज बीन सच एंड नॉट जस्ट यू फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस आई आई टेल यू एग्जाम्पल ये स्टडी एट माई होम माई सन ओके ही वॉज डूइंग सम प्रोजेक्ट वर्क and the project work was uh, uh, on uh, something called as mathematical tessellations uh, tessellations are those uh, tiles uh, where the tiles get repeated is uh, some concept of mathematics okay uh, tessell i mean something uh, that uh, okay fine uska exercise tha that these are the shapes and make a tessellation basically he had to show some repeat patterns and i think he must have spent almost one hour he took a paper drew some lines some square and box and he used his own imagination he did something and it looked beautiful okay uh, there was some pattern in it which was not as obvious lekin dikh raha tha ha kuch pattern to hai when i saw that my immediate reaction was ki beta this is not repetitive pattern aapne banaya sundar hai but i cannot see okay something getting repeated continuously and uh, we spend lot of to and fro yes no he again took up sheet again do the uh, coordinates and then he made something that looks repeated now then i sat back and thought ki maine kya kiya yaar this boy he used all his imagination and he developed a pattern yes the pattern was not symmetrical but it was a pattern and i i come completely dismissed it and i made him draw something which was very very mechanical okay which was very very 
boring actually just because he had to do something according to what i thought is a pattern and i'm sure he must have got demotivated why because usne ek ghanta kiya tha and i didn't have a good word for him and just said ki galat hai isko kar lo then i sat back and thought about it i essentially killed somebody's creativity for that day next time ye apne aap nahi karne wala matlab papa aap bata do kya karna hai and that's unfortunately how our education system is designed and i am guilty of doing that despite the fact i talk about it and i teach that instinctively ye galat hai isko aise kiya jaye okay and that's a thing of personality and unfold all of us have been victims of that so while we ground this we don't spend enough time for this one aur aap kya kar rahe ho for many of you yahi par hi aap zyada invest kar rahe ho new term here new concept here google dekh liya kuch aur pad liya aur yahi pooch rahe ho aap yahan par ja hi nahi rahe ho why because you are not opening the previous questions ki dekho sawal kaise pooch raha hai what are they asking what type of themes they are taking up ab wo nahi dekh rahe ho okay so so my point here is that in this list of what your gaps are your major gap is that you do not have that analytical skills properly developed so what what do you need like okay, i give an example of okay virat kohli types okay i mean think of cricket if i give you all the things you got a best pads best bat the best coach you got a diet chart i give you motivation talk Okay, I take a great, सब कुछ करा दिया फिर भी आप ये नहीं बन पाओगे वाई बिकॉज ही सरप्राइज कि क्या बात कर रहे हो ओके वाई बिकॉज दिस मैन इज नॉट जस्ट दिस इज अ थिंकिंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अ टैलेंट दैट ही हैज होन ही इज नॉट दिस इक्विपमेंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो वेन वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग अनफॉर्चुनेटली when we are preparing okay we are looking at this one sir bata do kya books pad lo ye le books ka list le lo sir motivation nahi hai youtube video dekh lo okay sir not practice enough ye lo pyq ratta mar lo and this what we are doing right okay sir no assigning practice the daily assigning karo without knowing what's required and you working hard also trust me i mean something i hate is the daily answer writing trust me i hate it because it's nonsense is entirely herd mentality and i'm doing it why because you are asking for it agar main nahi dunga to aap kahin aur chale jaoge main kya mere paas hi aa jao na aur kya believe me this is the story every day i fight with my team downstairs ye kyun kar rahe ho yaar launch okay i mean likh de sakta hu those who are doing it blindly they'll never qualify the guys who are thinking एक लिखेंगे हफ्ते में लेकिन धांसू लिख के लेके आएंगे दे विल मेक इट सो यू आर डूइंग वर्क मैकेनिकली विदाउट बी नोइंग व्हाट्स रिक्वायर्ड व्हेन आई शो अ गुड आंसर टू यू तब आपको समझ भी नहीं आता इसमें अच्छा क्या है व्हाई बिकॉज यू हैव नॉट थॉट अबाउट द एंटायर क्वेश्चन इफ यू आस मी वॉट आई मस्ट डू डेली डेली मेमोराइज योर कंटेंट एंसर राइटिंग विल हैपन इवेंचुअली डेली Content command leke aao, and the rest will follow eventually. Oh yes, uh, I have no. I said I have. I have no calm in accepting this fact. This we are doing entire. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's gone. In that list, this we are doing because you ask for it. So what I am discussing right now is. Oh, it's gone all over the place. So what I want you to guys to do is. understand the philosophy of what does an answer writing require if you have got that then to you are on fine so i think i got some uh, message for all of you here so you got this point so what's missing okay so our most time is spent on this again i have got i have got no sympathies for students who join ncert course बेटा अगर एनसीआरटी अपने आप पढ़ने की औकात नहीं है ना आप इस लाइन में आए क्यों आई एम ऑन यूट्यूब आई नो आई एम ऑन द जूम यू आर रिकॉर्डिंग मी आल्सो आई नो 
and I'm saying this. These are courses I offer because you ask for it. Okay. If I don't give you, you will go somewhere else. Give me money and give me money. How many money are you? Give me money. अगर आपके पास एबिलिटी नहीं है टू रीड एनसीआर टी अंडरस्टैंड देन यू नो नॉट फिट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन गो टू समथिंग एल्स क्लास सिक्स सेवन किताब है यार कम ऑन एट का किताब है एंड सच ब्यूटीफुल राइटिंग सो आई कॉन्ट फोकस देन वाई आर यू हियर दिस एग्जाम रिक्वायर्स एट फोकस सर आई गेट डिस्ट्रैक्टेड एंड वर्क ऑन दैट नॉट ऑन एनसीआर टीज प्लीज ओके सो यू स्पेंड टाइम ऑन एनसीआर टीज यू डू ओनली फाउंडेशन क्लासेस उसी में मर जाते हो आप लोग Within 15 days, 20 days, I have at least six, seven uh, queries to me. Okay, sir, how will we manage? How finish the course? Like, 15 days, why you got up? Wait for the entire thing to happen. 15 days, me, how can you judge what you're good at, bad at? Okay, and you spend your entire time, and you want to repeat. Some of you want to repeat the foundation class also. I mean, surprise there. You're not getting up to those levels, right? This is all L1. You join newspaper discussion. So, क्या डिस्कस करना है वंस यू नो द कंटेंट हाउ टू रीड आप अपने आप पढ़ो इसको आप लोग वॉट यू मस्ट डू इज यू मस्ट गेट इन दिस वन एल्थी लेवल विच इज बियॉन्ड सिलेबस सो वाइल वी वॉन्ट टू मूव लाइक दिस यू आर ट्रैप्ड हियर आई सेट नाउ मूव लाइक दिस ये कैसे करना है गिव मी टू मोर मिनिट्स ओके सो इट्स लाइक दिस in answer writing typically what we follow is the transactional approach sir aap answer de do sir aap bata do main kya likhu so what should the conclusion be sir i will not tell that to you you write and show and ask me sir ye sahi hai ki nahi see for conclusion understand this conclusion is a logical end to what you have want to say right I have said A, then I have said B, then I have said C, D. The logical end is E. But think of, I started from X, then I have said Y, then I have said Z. The logical end is something beyond Z, not A, correct? So whether conclusion right hai ya nahi hai, you must tell me what you wrote earlier. Can I have a formula conclusion? I cannot. But itna pata hai, conclusion must be applied. कंक्लूजन मोस्ट शो सम सोल्यूशन डायमेंशन पर वो क्या होगा पहले ये तो बताओ लिखा क्या है आपने योर इंट्रोडक्शन डिपेंड्स ऑन व्हाट यू विल राइट आफ्टर दैट आई वांट स्टोरी लाइन इफ माय स्टोरी स्टार्ट्स विथ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग अगो देर वाज अ किंग ठीक है देन माय नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इज डिफरेंट बट इफ माई एंसर स्टार्ट विथ ओके Never in the history has the world fought a war as bad as the Shokan War. The accordingly, I'll develop my essay. So your answer, whatever. So intro conclusion depends on your story. What is it? I cannot give you a formal introduction to you. That is your thinking point. So what you do is your preparation is very transactional. I tell you, do it. You don't think about it at all. You have to move towards the analytical ones. You must move towards the problem-solving ones. For this, some time more. I said, no. In, in that quadrant, I drew for all of you. Thank okay. you. There was a static part called a physical and geographical thought. Applied part are economic. Applied part are population. Applied part are issues of, uh, uh, say, infrastructure. Applied is disaster management. तब तक वो आर्क नहीं बनेगा आपका Your answer will always be okay, uh, not wholesome. Okay, so stressing on that don't don't wait for this. ये करते रहो, but ये भी करते रहना है. Okay, so that's why I call as outside in. Okay, so if you ask me, then what is it that takes students on this side? So students forget. ये भी fact है. You are doing your foundation course now. Most of you will give your mains probably in two thousand twenty six or twenty seven. So, आपको लगेगा दो attempt to clear the prelims, okay? And by that time, इसे भूल चुके होंगे आप लोग. So, what you require is prepare in such a way कि पहले बार में mains दे दें आप लोग. 
So if you delay your mains, you will have forgotten your foundation codes itself. And that's very logical. Okay, so this is one problem. Second is you lack effective revision. You can't revise. This is, this is a, uh, I'll say, an honest confession. Okay, and you'll appreciate this. You can never read your notes again. Jab jab notes kholo ke nindaigi. You will have lost. You can only read what you have summarized. Notes ab dubara kholo nindaigi sakte. Because notes are not your efforts. Simple as that. If you don't convert the notes into summary sheets, you'll always struggle. And you are struggling here. And planning. Ki kab exam de? Okay. By what time I will prepare what? By when should I start answer writing? What I will begin with? That's the planning part. Those who qualify, whenever they qualify, and this I say is essentially a thing of personality. Your answer writing skills are not so much about your content. It's essentially a thing of personality, who you are as a person. Okay? So, you understand this transaction versus mission approach. Uh, one uh, last point I will discuss quickly with all of you. Now, see, in that answer writing, I told you. Okay? There is, there is a content part. This is the acad part. Or a part, hai, which is which is the spatial dimension, which is the man environment thing, which is the solution aspect. And this also includes the structuring aspect. It includes, it includes a current affairs okay, a relation. This part, this part comes from a revision and memorization. And this will check your academic understanding. This is, this is your analytical and your innovative and your applied presence of mind. If you focus only on this. Typically, it's a college student. Agar ye criteria hota na, IES would have been all the college toppers alone. Geography mein kon leke aega marks? Who has done graduation, masters, PhD in geography? They'll, good, they'll be good here. But they don't qualify. So the qualifier, they're good here, but they can move into this part here. This is a CAD part. This is the personality part. This is typical book, notes, textbook. This is your current affairs. This is your thinking quotient. Applying space. You're applying space. Applying relationships. Applying solutions. So you'll have to have a balance between both of them to be able to qualify. So your answer writing answer writing are divided in two parts. So for a content command, you asked me what to do here. For content command, notes updated, synopsis done and memorized. Please okay, highlight this very, very strongly. Content like a memorized nahi hua, aapka content command kabhi nahi aayega. Okay, and okay, I'll say memorize L1 questions. Memorize, 50, 60, 100. Okay, after every unit, I'll give you some questions to memorize. Yes, yes, in the enrichment program, I will push and pump questions on this side. I'll give you 50, 50 answer on this side for every unit. It's like, you know, if you give me a drawing, if I keep on drawing this line 1,000 times, na, by the time I have finished this, okay, I can very easily draw a line very smoothly. 
I'll say my heart this. Okay. 200-300 answer atta maal lo pula. L1 questions. Ek dam bane banaye. No mind into it. If you have done that, then this is set. Agar is pe confidence aa gaya hai na, phir idhar aap aram se kaam kar sakte ho. Exactly. That's how we have. So we have the a foundation course here and this is your enrichment wala part. Aap apne aap kare or whatever suits you. So how to do this is this one. Note set, synopsis set, memorize the answers and come towards L1 memorization of model answers. Then you move on towards this. That's one. That's one strategy. Second, okay, to get a hang of this one, aapke paas teen source hai. Books. But please, be selective in what you read from the books. You cannot understand anything till you have opened up a proper textbook. But don't read everything. Okay. And I'll say books may read NCRTs as many times as you can. Okay. Every time I read NCRT, I get an insight. GS also. Go bar bar revise karo NCRT, history, NCRT, polity, NCRT economy. Bar bar padho usko. And think, don't just finish it off. Read and think about it. Read and pause and mull over about it. Books are very, very critical. But what books? I said, be books. You have got reference books. You be selective here. But do this. Okay. Plus, your newspaper articles. Uh, it's, it's time now I started. Everyday basis pay for geography, there's definitely one article around some issue on geography. Environment hoga, migration. And when I'm doing population, I remember. Har din ek article hoda on migration. Urban issues, environment concerns, development imbalances, export-import issues. Agriculture problem. It's all geography. Hai. And, okay, don't think of reading more articles. Ek padho, but dhang se padho. Take your own sweet time. Rukke, socho, padho, fir socho. Okay, make your notes. Think about it. Kya pooja, kya se change kiya. Okay, why is it saying so? Think about it. So spend good one hour. Go two hours if required. But you can't go beyond that. Because we've gone two hours, you're you losing something else. But read articles. Absolutely, I'll want every day. And aapka kaam asan karne ke liye, humne aapka articles de diya hai. Month of August, I said read articles of July. Month of September, read articles. Or my listing diya hua hai. Wohi padhona aap log bar bar. That's good enough. Okay. So these two. Okay. Third. Third. Try writing, not full answers. But ask yourself, ki mein har concept pe, can I write 30, 40 words? Okay, and good, nice, meaningful words or not. And that's what we are doing for your workbook sessions. Mountain, fold mountains, write 40 words. Good, nice words. Okay. Say, Davis model, can you appreciate time and cycle of erosion? 50 words. Forget the full answer. For every topic I have taught you, can you convert that into a short, good write-up? 50-50 word. Ka. Third thing. Practice diagrams. For most of us, Diagrams does not happen automatically. We are not artists. We are not practicing diagrams. And we don't need to be artists. But can you practice or not? Just as you have synopsis for the class notes, you must also have synopsis for all diagrams in one place. All maps in one place. 
that is getting ready for the actual answer writing. Monica, check up the resource page of Edukemi. Okay, go to current affairs articles. Swam will jayega aapko. All fine here. Once you have done this, L1 questions are done. Your notes are done. Your textbook readings are done. Okay, you have a good understanding of newspaper, uh, geography related, you have done. Okay. And uh, you also have taken care of you know, some, some NCRTs, uh, whatever you can. So while the foundation goes on, the textbooks, newspaper, NCRT, this develops your analytical skills. And this develops okay, your content command. It's a, it's a saying. If you do the same things every time, okay, there are two consequences. One is, you will master that. Second is, you will start appreciating the nuances. Okay, so if you are concept ko aap kitab mein pad rahe hai, synopsis likh rahe ho, previous questions mein dekh rahe ho na, your understanding will become sharper. You start appreciating the nuances within them. Yes, absolutely. Yes, start with this one. Okay, now, whatever I, I had to say, I have done. I'll just show this to you. Some of you have seen it, but maybe some of you would want to. Okay. So, uh, questions of geomorphology, okay? Look at these questions and you will know what I mean by three questions, okay? And last, five years ago, we are You all can see this. Yeah, you can. So, explain how various aspects of channel morphology are used in transportation, settlement, and land use, planning, flood control, and flood management. Applied hai na pura? Chal morphology syllabus me likha hua hai. Pooch kaisa raha sawaal dekho aap. Transportation me kaisa use hota hai? Maybe navigation. Okay, settlements, floods and the rest. Flood control, flood zoning, flood management, water usage, drinking water. Okay, pollution issues and link that with channel morphology. Discuss the role of slope, altitude and relief in landscape development. In landscape development, how does slope impact? How does altitude impact and how does relief impact? You cannot say syllabus. Okay, some Davis, some owner understanding, relief, Landforms, okay. Uh, the concept of tectonics has been derived from isostasy and drift. Believe me, no textbook talks about tectonics from isostasy. What thing? This is not for a book to answer. It's your thinking. Drift and tectonics, I understand. But I saw this entirely your creativity. You all have done cell morphology and some topics are left. We'll do it. Stream basins and drainage divides are important components to delineate watershed area. How questions are coming from? And one challenge is understanding the question first. What is asking? What is asking? And trust me, nobody will teach this to you at least in geomorphology. This topic is part of paper two. You must know agriculture, water management. You must know what is the concept of watershed. So you have 
लास्ट सिक्स सेवन क्वेश्चन में से फोर क्वेश्चन आर एल थ्री टाइप डायरेक्टली राइट एन एसे ऑन एविशन ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट एंड ओशन यूजिंग वेरियस थ्योरीज एंड मॉडल्स मैंने पढ़ा है टेक्टोनिक्स थ्योरी नो टेल मी द क्वेश्चन इज वेरियस थ्योरीज नाउ दैट्स योर क्रिएटिविटी तो आई विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरियस थ्योरीज में आई नो टू लाइन्स ऑन हैरल जेफरी I know a few lines about drift theory. I know some about tectonics. I know isostasy. इसी में लिख देना है मुझे आंसर. Okay, what does tectonics say? No, Edward Swiss is not a theory. Okay, yes, uh, uh, your Arthur Holmes is a theory. Maybe I can use that also if I want to. Now, ये strike करने के लिए require presence of mind. If I've got five names with me, I'm on. and i'll say no, no I, i do one thing i can also add cobert theory what does cobert tell us about continents ocean oceans cobert ke liye is the geosyncline correct and you're on so see for these answers you don't need to read more you need to appreciate more okay and this i have not taught for some of you uh, uh this i think Uh, some of you can relate to this landscape is a function of structure process stage a uh, critique the statement me tell us he is right or wrong and why is he right and why is he wrong critique means a type of an evaluation so i have read out almost 10 12 pages me ki panch che are l3 question straight away to isme how do i teach you answer writing if not thinking at all and if i teach you this answer also But do you see anything being being repeated here? एक नया सवाल कुछ और पूछेगा आपको. So rather than learning this answer, which I will teach you, I'll give a model answer. Do you understand? Man, lo jao. You must crack the pattern of how questions are asked and work accordingly. Otherwise, it's something like I said example. No, you are putting a field where every time a ball has been dropped there. You can't prepare like that. Yes, crack the pattern, crack the philosophy. Now you know. I can ask. A uh, question. Here, uh, yeah, here. You have done uh, three theories of slope, right? Uh, Davis, Spang, and I was doing L.C. King. Question. Look, what he asked. The this is a question in 2017. The knowledge of slope analysis has limited field application in slope management. Okay, Davis is slope analysis. Penck is slope analysis. How does it happen? But it says it has limited application in slope management because none of these theories talk about slope vulnerability. All of them talk about erosion and maybe upliftment. None of them talk about role of rainfall and how it loosens the soil. The role of vegetation and what that does, the role of human construction and how it makes unstable, the role of earthquakes and land uh, uh, say instability. कोई बता ही नहीं रहा है. That is why Davis model or Penck's model or L.C. King model they don't help in slope management. आपको समझा के लिखना है ये वाला. You cannot say sir ये पढ़ाया नहीं आपने. If I tease this to you, कुछ और पूछ देगा. I hope you got the point here. You go and and The more you read this, appreciate it. Okay, but sir, 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 ye padha ho, jo padha re ho, band karo, right? The question is, that is your fundamental foundation. This happens only after that is done. But at least be aware of what's being asking. Okay, you can go on there. Okay, there will always be a couple of questions which, okay, and this type of question increased in the last four five years. Okay. Yes. So let me summarize this. I thought of about one and a half hours, but I've gone more than that. So I'm summarizing this for all of you and see. Uh, this is where the challenge lies. Okay. Your content command is important. The content command 
is about understanding of the issues. Once you have done this, you must move these two into the applied domain. Her question may applied domain. Okay. And you must try that eventually. So this is what, okay. And uh, so this uh, command say apply domain move karne ke liye, I see the most important role is your personality and your analytical thinking skills. So when I ask you uh, develop answer writing, okay, focus here. Rahul, batao na kaun sa question repeat hua hai or kidne ba repeat hua hai. Go check last 15 years of prayer. Themes may be repeated. I'm not saying no. But which questions repeated? Tell me. Go, go and check and let me know. That's why, okay, I, 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 we have this acronym for ourselves. For answer writing, you need understanding of the content. You also need understanding of the questions. Okay. With this understanding, okay, you have an anchoring theme. Anchoring theme is around your vision of what is important. Okay. And once you apply this, you have the applied solutions. Anchoring thing will not happen till you develop this one. On any issue, you must have some anchoring theme. Northeast ke baare mein security, ASEAN, maybe North India, Jammu Kashmir, Central Asia anchoring theme. Around the coast of India, maybe security, pollution, urban development, cosmopolitan, pollution issues. Her issues mein, there will be some anchoring theme. The anchoring theme comes from uh, current affairs also. It comes from your appreciation. Okay, so this you is understanding. This vision applied and yes, Sara Kuch is part of personality that I call as you. That's what we call as the Yuva concept in your study. Aap isko chhod ke, aap kuch nahi kar paoge. You need this one. And this only comes from newspapers, thinking about the questions, uh, analyzing the previous year's questions. It comes from uh, you know, dwelling on what are the issues, how can you solve that. Aapka geography knowledge nahi, aapka developmental question dekha ja raha hai. How are you as a person in terms of problem solving of some current issues? Fine. So now I hope you all get a bit more patient in the process. Aap ye command karte ro control? Yes, yes, that's my intention. I'll start off that again. The current affair discussion sessions of newspaper, I'll do that. But at least you be aware of what's required. Yes. And content command is the easiest part. Okay. All of you. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay. I hope I could help you develop some insights. Okay. Okay. Pratima. That's nice. It says Chandrayaan is about to land. Oh, it's a great thing. Okay. Uh, it's a remarkable achievement. Almost uh, 30 35, 40 years ka culmination hai. Okay. Yeah? 149 meters. 100 meters left. Okay. I do not know where to see this. Kahan dik raha hai? Live stream hai?
pronto. YouTube, ok. YouTube. Isro Mission. Hã? Search que deram. You, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, yes. Yes. So, what was that? Isro Live. E clip. Hey, yeah. Hey, look at It's a UPSC aspirant. Videos will play after that. Four. Skip ad. Uh, no thanks. Uh, volume to hai kaha hai mujhe nahi pata. Landed already. Pause kar diya. Landed. Yes, congratulations. Great. Uh, actually, it's remarkable. Wow. I could photograph the cow in. Um, I think they'll show the rover also coming out now. Not sure. So I'm part of this one. <laughs> Super important, I say. So Chandran was there, it landed. Okay. Bharat Mata ki jai. No, no, this one. This one is no this side. <laughs> Wow, I see there too. So I think we'll go back and watch the recordings maybe. So very nice. Okay, Chandrayaan in moon and answer writing also on your moon now. Okay, fine. So thanks a lot. My wishes to all of you.